everyone, it's Melanie, and in today's video, I am going to give you a brief, if I can keep it brief, look into how I plan my life. Um, I am a planner girl. I am someone who I need to write it down and get it on a piece of paper and out of my brain, so otherwise it's gone forever. Like, I, it's just, it's, in, it's insane how little space I have in my brain for lists and things that I need to do. I got to write it down. So because I have multiple different things that I'm, you know, trying to plan, I really didn't feel like one planner was going to be sufficient to keep all of it organized because it was just going to become a jumbled mess. Um, that may change in the future. I'm not 100% sure just yet, but let me just kind of walk you through my process first. Um, the first thing that I do when I am going to be planning is, first of all, I only plan about a week, at, you know, ahead at a time, um, except when it comes to my YouTube channel. And then I try to look forward almost a full month. Obviously, I don't know what I'm going to be filming for the entire month, but I have certain videos that I do every month. And so I go ahead and I try to plan out when I want to film those and when I want to have them posted for you guys. Um, and then the other spots kind of just get filled in with whatever I randomly decide that I want to share with you guys. So the first planner that I use is actually an Erin Condren Life Planner and um, it just says AKA Mommy on the bottom. I have only had this one for about, I started using it in August. So August and September um, have been fully planned in this planner and then it actually is, um, Let's see, it is a, it's not a full 18 month planner, but this is the one that I will use for the entire year of 2016 as well. Um, and this one I, I will go ahead and point out also is one of the um, horizontal planners. So my life planner that I have been using for, for, you know, over a year now, almost a year and a half is a horizontal planner. Is that right? Vertical? Maybe this is, no, this is the horizontal planner. I'm sorry. Did I call this vertical? I don't really remember. This is the horizontal planner. And I don't know that I absolutely love this style of planner, but I mean, it works for me. Um, I'll show you maybe one of the weeks in, during the month of August, whenever I was um, busy doing Vlogist. Um, let's see. Let me find a good one here. Hmm. Usually what I write in here is, I'm sorry, I should have had this prepared. Okay. Here's just an example. In the beginning of the month of August, I sit down and I, I write down video ideas and then the ones that I've actually accomplished, I highlight. Um, I did not go back and highlight all of these cause I actually did pretty much all of these in the month of August. Um, and then let's see, maybe in September would be better. Okay. So here is a look at the last week in August and the first week in September, and you guys have already seen all of this. So basically, I just, um, for right now, I write what I want to film and then what I want to upload. And then I just fill in every single day if I'm planning on uploading every single day with, you know, that information, what I want to film and, up and upload. I also write in here, um, video ideas. I just jot them down. Um, this planner, it, I mean, it doesn't get used probably as much. I do use it every single week. Um, and I actually look, look in it and make notes in it every single day, but really this is only YouTube information. So income information will go in here. Um, video ideas and all of that, you know, advertising and all of that information will all go in this planner. I do use it every week. I do use it every day, but because it's just for YouTube, it doesn't have as much information in it. So the second planner that I use, and you guys have seen this in my, um, several of my videos is my meal planner. And I will, link Carrie's shop in the description box below for you guys where I purchased this. She has an Etsy shop that she, um, she sells out of. She is located in Dallas. So she's, um, located, I'm sorry, she's local to me and I like to support local businesses. So that really and truly is why I chose to go with this meal planner, but I have loved it. And you guys have seen it in my, my meal planning videos and in my grocery haul videos, some of them. Um, 
but I'll just tell you real quick this is the meal planner that I use and um, her shop name is carriel.com so that's pretty easy but I will leave um, a link in the description box below for you and then yeah this is just this is my meal planner um, here's here's a look at the monthly spread I've got October started to be planned already um, for meals I don't go into a lot of detail in this particular section I just kind of jot down ideas um, because it's helpful for me to be able to see the the month at a glance so I can see okay this is what we have going on this day and then this day and then this day um, so that I just find that to be helpful um, let me show you this is a week that I actually um, yeah okay so this is for the week of September 21st through the 27th and for the most part I think that we stuck to this meal plan pretty pretty good um, I just have my days I actually planned out breakfast lunch and dinner for each and every day because that helps me make sure that we have you know an assortment of things to have for lunch um, because I homeschool my kids you know I don't I don't know why but I really just don't want my kids to have to eat sandwiches every single day if I can avoid it um, so I, I like to mix it up you know give them different things as well as my husband my husband comes home for lunch as lunch every day as well and I like for him to have different things and not just oh it's another sandwich today yay although he would be perfectly fine with that and he's even said that to me um, I just I don't want to eat the same thing every day and so I figure they don't either so if I make a plan then I know that we're having a variety of different things and it just makes me feel better about what we're eating so this is my meal planner I sit down on usually Saturday night or Sunday night and I make my meal plan for the following week and I make my grocery list it kind of depends on when I'm gonna do my grocery shopping um, for instance this week I did my grocery shopping on Monday morning and so I made my grocery list and my meal plan on Sunday afternoon and this time I actually planned out for like 10 to 12 days I don't remember exactly so that is how I do my meal planning I just I sit down and um, well first of all I go through my house and I look in my refrigerators and my pantry and I see what we have what I want to use up and then I mean I'll usually take a notepad with me while I'm doing that and write down what I have so that I can um, remember that I want to use it and then I just go and sit down with my meal planner and plan out some meals and I will sometimes ask my husband or my kids for meal ideas hey we, what what do you want to have what have we not had in a long time um, and yeah I mean meal planning is it's frustrating and it can be a little bit monotonous and it's it's not the easiest thing in the world to do like in theory it's not hard to plan out meals but if you're someone who likes to have a variety in your meals it can get a little bit difficult so a lot of times I'll turn to Pinterest um, I have tons of um, recipes pinned on Pinterest so when I just can't come up with anything I'll go and look on Pinterest and say hey I want to make a, um, a crock pot meal on Tuesday night this week and I'll go and I'll look in my little um, I can't remember what it's called the folder where I have those ideas pinned and I'll you know I'll find something that looks good um, I get a lot of inspiration from there and if I remember if I can remember I will link my Pinterest for you guys in the description box below too and you can just follow you can follow me on Pinterest to kind of see where I get some of my ideas from <clears throat> excuse me my allergies are acting up today but yes that is how I use my meal planner and again I just I sit down once a week and write out my meal plan and then write out my grocery list it takes me probably if I'm really on top of things it might take me 20 minutes to sit and do both of those so the last planner that I use I'm gonna try to go through this as quickly as possible because I'm already almost at 10 minutes is my my basically traditional Erin Condren life planner and I bought this planner um, not really a hundred percent sure if I would if I would like really love it as much as some people did at the time I bought this basically almost a year and a half ago but I have really really enjoyed having this um, it was a little bit difficult for me to spend you know fifty fifty five dollars or whatever it was on this planner but I can guarantee you that it has been well worth the money spent because it has held up phenomenally well and I use it every single day so um, I'm not going to show you guys the cover because it's actually in this this 
other cover. Hold on. This is my Erin Condren Life Planner. And I, okay, that doesn't make a whole lot of sense. It is my Erin Condren Life Planner, but it's in a, um, a fabric cover that I bought off of an Etsy shop um, around the same time that I bought my planner. So I don't know for sure if she still has this print. I will um, link her, her shop in the description box below, but it's actually just called Woodland Cottage Farm. And I don't know if I can show you that, but I'll try. I'm all fumbly here and awkward. It's right there. Woodland Cottage Farm. And, um, yeah, I, I love my planner. I use it all the time. And see, the planner just kind of slips into this pocket right here. And I, I seem like I'm doing a review of this thing. I'll, I'll just show you. It has pockets here, a pocket here, a flap here, and then in the back it has more pockets. So this, I use this to keep my my life planner protected um i've never really had any problems with it getting torn up but i use it to i mean who doesn't want a little extra protection for something that you spent so much money on so i use it for that reason but also for all of the added storage you know this is that's really cool to have so let me go ahead and show you which week am i going to show you um okay I think that this one should be okay. I don't really think that there's any terribly personal information on here. Um, I'll show you a couple of weeks. This, um, okay, let me show you guys what I've got going on here. Again, I sit down on Saturday afternoon, Sunday afternoon, whenever I, I happen to have the time, and I look at what we have going on for the week, and I ask my husband, okay, are you going to be gone any days, any nights? What do you have going on? Do you have anything that you need to get taken care of? Is there anything you need me to take care of for you? And we just kind of have a brief five minute conversation about what the week looks like for him. And then I fill in my planner. And this um, particular week was the week of August. Yes, August 31st through September 6th. And as you can see, I just have a few things on my to-do list over here, you know, oil change, um, clean the turtle tank back up to my cloud and I placed a Victoria's Secret order. So I do use stickers, functional stickers to help me plan pretty much partially because I don't like my handwriting. And if I have a sticker that's really cute, I think that that's nicer than my handwriting, but I just like stickers. I mean, I'm not a very crafty person. I don't do a whole lot of crafts or DIY things like that. So this is kind of a way for me to be artistic or crafty in some way. And I don't know. I just like it. It's fun. I don't use as many as a lot of people do, but I like it. So up here I have um, pay the bills. Got to do that at the end of every month. You know, we had a library day. I do track the weather up here at the top. Um, the little stickers here remind me to do a load of laundry every day. Monday is our trash day. Um, let's see, at the end of the month I always do scan and shred. I scan all of our bank statements and um, anything that I want to hold on to but I don't necessarily want to have a hard copy of. I scan it and then um, I shred it, get rid of it. Um, items to clean, just a little cute little sticker. I write down my menu, I'm sorry, my, uh, my dinner on the bottom here. And then over here on this side, again, we have the weather at the top. These three days, my husband was going to be out of town for a bowling tournament, so I wanted to make sure that I, know, I noted that. Um, let's see. Hmm. I'm trying to think. Yep, church, grocery day. This was the day that... Um, we lost our dog, so I, I noted that in my planner. Obviously, I didn't plan for that, but I, I went in and put it in so that I can remember it later. Um, football games that I want to watch. We had pizza night. Met my parents at the pool. You know, that sort of thing. And then I will give you guys a quick look at the next week. Um, I'm not going to show you the beginning of the week because there's some personal information on that part, but I will show you the last part of the week. Again, it's going to look a lot like the like the week previous to it did. Basically, I went to the post office and Walmart. Keep going no matter what. Hope you guys can hear me. Um, I We vlogged on this particular day, and while that is YouTube related, I wanted to note it in my day planner. Hey, we're going to vlog today. Um, these are just some of the things that I worked on. 
football game, my sister had a baby shower, and I actually think that maybe we vlogged both of these days, if I remember right. We went to church on Sunday morning, and my husband was out of town again for a bowling tournament. And let's see, plan like a boss, because that's what it's all about. I sat down and planned, and then I've got some dinner ideas here on the bottom. So I know that there are a lot of people who plan a lot more in depth in their planner. I, this is pretty sufficient for me. I just need to be able to sit down and see at a quick glance, what do I need to accomplish today? What do I have going on this week? And the reason that I write my dinners on the bottom of the, of the page is so that if I need to take something out of the freezer to defrost, I can do it the night before. Or if I need to get something in the crock pot early in the morning, I can remember to do that because I look at the entire day and I say, okay, what do we have going on today, including dinner? And that way, if there's any kind of prep that I need to do, I can do that, you know, early on in the day. So I hope that that was a little bit helpful. I know that it wasn't like a traditional plan with me video. Um, I don't know that that would be terribly interesting for you guys because I don't plan as in-depth as a lot of planners do and I don't really have as much going on as a lot of them do. Um, right now my kids aren't doing any um, team sports so really a lot of our days are kind of a lot of our weeks just follow the same pattern and my planner is is more a place for me to get my thoughts down on paper and so so that I can stay organized and try to keep track of everything that we have going on. So like I said, I hope that someone found it helpful. Um, I really, really, really love my Erin Condren planner. If you don't already have one and you think that you might enjoy having one, I'll leave a link for you down in the description box. Um, I believe if you follow the link, it is a referral link, but I've never, I've never used it before. So, um, I believe if you use this link, you get $10 off your first order. And I am going to be ordering my new life planner here probably in October because I want to make sure that it has plenty of time to get to me before January because mine ends in December of this year. I've actually had it since um, July of 2014. So I did buy a 18-month um, planner the last time that I ordered and I've had it for almost that length of time and I've loved it. So any links that I have, I will leave for you guys below. I hope that, you know, it was helpful. I know I've said that like three times. I tend to sometimes think that my method for doing things is not really gonna help people out very much, but you guys, you know, are very appreciative when I share, so that's why I do it. I share with you guys to be helpful. So that's going to be it for this video. I hope that you guys have enjoyed it. If you have not already and you would like to, please subscribe. I appreciate it more than you know. Um, also, hop on over to my Facebook and my Instagram, and I will probably go ahead and link my Pinterest as well so you guys can start following me there and just kind of follow along with what we do and, you know, how we how we live our lives. So that's going to be it for me. I will see you guys soon in another video, and you all take care. Bye now.